Hi, today we're going to cook a ham in the Dutch oven here. I got my 12 inch Dutch oven here, but what I want to do first is I'm going to make a bacon weave to go on the top. And so I'm going to show you this. This is just a pack of bacon. So, what you want to do is you want to start out with an odd number of strips and just lay them next to each other. So, we'll do five. And then I'm going to pull two back and just put a strip in like that. Slide that up. Let me slide that down all the way to the end. And then pull these three back. Put a strip in there. Slide it down in there tight. I just don't want to pull them too far this way. It'll get on this table. Then you just alternate and get these bacons in here. What I did is uh, I had a nine pound ham but it was a little bit too tall for my Dutch oven so I trimmed the top of it off just to compensate so I could get it in that 12 inch Dutch oven so it's probably about an eight pound ham and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it at 325 degrees uh, about 15 minutes a pound so that's about two hours and what two hours two hours and 15 so it'll probably cook two to two and a half hours so there's some extra, we can just kind of lay those on the top. So I'm just gonna set this over and we'll move the ham over here. Should've got a towel, but this hair is cool. This is a lid lifter made by Camp Made. It just goes right on like this, bam. Pulls your lid off, keeps it out of the dirt. Just set it off to the side. Let me just slide this over. So I have my ham in there. The ham comes and it's kind of pretty skinny at the top so I didn't lose much meat by sizing it down to fit in the Dutch oven let's see if I can do this now we'll just kind of grab this look how sweet that is that is awesome yeah that's cool I'll just kind of lay these extra pieces there's looks like there's two put those in like that and then my hands are greasy. Next time I'll have a towel out here, but that's fine. Bacon grease doesn't hurt. Then I have a can of pineapple chunks here, and I'm just gonna leave the juice in and just kind of pour this on. I'll just dump it right on top. Could filter down, do whatever it wants. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's Easter today. So this is our Easter dinner we're making. Nice day kind of had a relaxing morning broke out the Harley went for a little ride went and had a little brunch and now we're making a yummy ham for dinner so let's do that so like I said 325 I got my briquettes here this briquette chimney it's made by camp made also it folds and collapses so you can save heat too but at 325 I'm gonna do eight on the bottom in there like that Get that rock out of there so there's eight I think that's eight yeah we're good eight and what we're gonna do is briquettes last about an hour that's their life so in an hour we'll check it and then we'll have to, we'll put new new coals get some new heat going so we got eight on the bottom and we'll do 15 on top so there's five, looks like 15. So yeah, I'll just level these out. Like I said, in an hour, we'll check this, get some new, I'll get some new coals going, get some more heat on it for the second hour. So we'll see you back. Okay, it's been an hour. So let's change the briquettes on this, uh, this ham, cause we're gonna cook it another hour and we'll check it at that point. It might need a little bit more out of that point. But, so I have eight briquettes here, I'm just gonna, We'll just slide them over to these new briquettes. See how these are doing. See, they one of them didn't burn up, but yeah, see, they're pretty much gone. There's just this one didn't catch fire for some reason. So, but let's look at it. So it's on eight briquettes again. Let me grab the lid lifter. Let's take a look and see how it's doing. We're just kind of slow cooking this at 325. Oh yeah, look at that. It's coming along nice. The bacon's starting to crisp up a little bit. So yeah, another hour. We're just gonna do this another hour. And that is awesome. 
but we'll just uh, do that. So we'll do 15 on top again. Seems like that's working great. There's five, six, 10. And I have a ton of coals. I must have counted pretty close, or maybe there's a couple extra. There's, yeah, but anyway, I got so excited. Last time it was Easter, I guess. I was so excited the Easter Bunny came and everything. We had a good time today. I even got some good candies. But we're going to make a side dish also. So we'll be back in a little bit to start the side dish. And so we'll see you Okay, then. we're ready to get the side dish doing. What we're doing here is we have some potatoes. We cut up, uh, I think there's five, and we just cubed them. So they're still pretty big cubes. But big enough so they don't burn or cook too fast. So I just put them in a bowl. And then I'm just going to drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil in here. Like that. That looks pretty good. We're going to cook these in a 10 inch Dutch oven. But then what I have is the Hidden Valley Original Ranch Dressing, Salad Dressing and Seasoning Mix. I'll just sprinkle this in. And I'm doing this in a bowl, so it makes it real easy. You just put the lid on and just shake it up. Do a little dance, shake it, do a little dance. Wiggle your butt, left to the right. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Oh, those look pretty dang good. All right, so let's grab this. We have the 10 inch Dutch oven here. I'll grab the lid, lid lifter. This is the lid lifter. It'll adjust to fit any size Dutch oven. So now we're using it on a 10 inch Dutch oven. Same deal. Look how sweet that is. Lord, look at those potatoes. They look good. Just pour them in there. That's awesome. A little bit left in here I'm gonna scrape out. And I'm gonna cook these at 400 degrees. I'm thinking about 30 minutes or so, so we'll just let them do their thing for 30 minutes and check them at that point. Let's get the lid. Do that. The ham's down here cooking great. You can smell the bacon, it's awesome. But at 400 degrees with the 10 inch Dutch oven, I'm gonna do eight on the bottom. There's six, seven, eight. It's warm. Yeah, this food's smelling good. Weather's nice. Been sitting out in the backyard, relaxing, cooking up all this good food. Let's set that there. And then we want 17 on top. So there's 6, 10, go like that, 7. Man, maybe I was perfect on that. So, like I said, we'll check the potatoes, 30 minutes. The ham, uh, we'll check that at the same time. We'll just go ahead, uh, that might have 20 minutes, but it's okay if it goes another 10, so we'll check them both at the same time in a half hour, so we'll see you back. Woo. I'll pull the heat off the lid off that one side, see how it's getting done more. I'm just going to slide the coals over. It's been 30 minutes, so let's check and see how these potatoes are doing. Let me grab the lid lifter here. Kind of get this on here. Size it down to the 10 inch. Like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Steaming. Let me grab a fork. I think they're pretty dang close. Yeah. So I'm just going to cover these back up. We can go get our side dishes and dish this up. But let's look at the ham now. This is a. So they cook for 30 minutes. So this has actually been going another 80 minutes. So it's cooked like in two hours and 10 or 15 minutes ish. But look at that. That is awesome. That bacon cooked up good. Oh, you can smell that bacon. That is good. Good stuff. So yeah, so we'll get ready to serve this up and we'll be back shortly. Okay, let's dish this up. 
Yeah, that is sweet. I'm going to set the, look, I can set the plate right there on the lid lifter. Oh my heck, that ham is just pulling apart. This is was just a, a pre-cooked spiral ham, so look at that. That is awesome. It just falls right apart. Don't even need a knife. That is sweet. So let me get a couple of these pineapples. Now we'll kind of do a little switcheroo. Set that lid back on. And I need to size this down a little bit to fit the 10 inch Dutch oven. Get that on there. All right. Set that off. All those potatoes are nice and sizzling. Go ahead and utilize that again to hold my plate. That is sweet. Oh, they're nice and soft. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Let me get the lid back on this and we're gonna try this out. Oh. Yeah, look at this ham. Mm. Yummy. That is so good. Mm. Mm. Yummy. The potatoes, they just cut right apart. So the potatoes cook, you know, 30 minutes. Mm. Hot. That ham was about two hours and 15 minutes, but yeah, that is awesome. Hope everybody's had a great Easter today. If you liked what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and there's a link in the description to purchase any of these items on campmade.com with the promo code, code AL20 to get a little discount. And I hope you liked our video today, and we'll see you next time.